This is Flash Fiction Lesson 12, finalising your own Flash Fiction story ideas. So today's lesson aim, as uh, introduced on the previous slide, is for, at the end of this lesson, for you to have come up with um, a story idea, ready to start writing next lesson. OK, so um, this is um, a short lesson in the sense that the instructions are very short. Um, you have one task for this lesson, and that is to make sure that by the end of it, you have uh, an idea for a story, a flash fiction story, which you're going to start next week. So if you remember, going back a few weeks to the beginning of these lessons, um, I said that you will be writing a flash fiction story of between 300 to 600 words. And the, if you remember the original story that we looked at, a story called Night Howl, that was just over 300 words to give you a kind of idea of the sort of size of the story. OK, so that's what you'll be aiming for. So next lesson, we'll start to plan that and get that moving. But for this lesson, you've got to have a, you've got to have an idea ready to go next week. OK, so a uh, number of ways you can do that. Um, firstly, um, go back and have a look at what you did in lesson four. One of the the final task of lesson four was for you to um, research two websites and I'll put the links on the um, Google Classroom because it won't work on this uh, this movie. Um, two links uh, to two websites called one was called Squibbler and the other one was called What If. And on Squibbler there were lots and lots of story ideas and on What If it gave you, well it's the same sort of thing, lots and lots of story ideas as well. Okay. Um, now remember you can only write what's really, I suppose, you might see as a scene from a story. Although although a flash fiction story has the features of a story, a normal story, you know, a kind of beginning, middle and end, if we're putting it very simply, um, you're not really writing a complete story, it's going to be a scene, okay? So if you go back to Night Howl, one of the things I'm suggesting on this slide is you go back and have another look at that story to remind yourself about uh, the length of it and what's in it, and just to get a just to tune in a bit, perhaps. OK, so um, so you're going to revisit what you did in lesson four. You, you may have one of the what you were asked to do in lesson four was to actually come up with a story idea. So it may be the case. That you already have a story idea and you're good to go. Um, what perhaps you can do in this lesson, if you do have that story idea, is just to maybe um, write, scribble down a few ideas about what you might want to do with your story. Um, no more than that, perhaps. And then um, another thing you could do. Um, so, so sorry, just going back there. So one thing you can do is go back to lesson four and see what story idea you came up with. Or if you don't have a story or you couldn't get one from that lesson, go through that process again. Go to those two websites and um, see if you can come up with a uh, take a story idea or develop your own from a story that's there. You could take something that you see and maybe change it a bit to make it fit with what you want. OK, um, now something else that you could do and another way of helping you plan is go back and look at some of the writing you've done over these past 11 lessons. There's been a lot of writing or lots of short snippets of writing anyway. Was there anything you particularly liked or you're particularly proud of that you think you might be able to develop or grow into a bigger story? Or maybe there are a couple of things. So just go back and have a look at your writing. It's something you want, you really liked the way it came out, you're happy with it, and you think, oh, I could build build a story around that. It could have been, um, some of you seem to do quite well with that task where you had to describe something horrible, as though it was, uh, as though, as though it was lovely. Um, if you remember, I turned maggots into glistening, glistening beauties, and uh, m most of you did something very similar yourself. So, um, you know, go back and look at your previous writing. Is there a piece of writing that you like, that you think you could develop into something bigger? Um, and I think that'll do. So at the end of the lesson, as I say, make sure you've got, uh, you have a story idea. So the next lesson, we're going to start planning it and writing it and, and getting the thing moving. So this time next week, or yeah, this time next week, we're hopeful that you should have a, a flash fiction story sort of drafted out. Um, good to go. All right. So on this um, final slide, uh, there is a list of the work that you need to submit this week. So there were two tasks on the simile lesson, um, three tasks on the metaphor lesson, 
And then finally, you don't have to submit this unless you have a question or you want to ask your teacher something about it. You need to make sure that you have a flash fiction story idea ready to start working on next lesson. OK, thank you.